Hi guys, today I want to talk to you guys about LTE Plus or LTE Advanced. So I've been coming to Thailand since 2013. When I first came here in 2013, that was my first time in Thailand. And as somebody who's super high on Android, I wanted fast network and they did not have 4G LTE yet. So I was super disappointed. I came back in 2014, they did not have 4G LTE. I came back here last year, they did not have 4G LTE. And I came here this year and they have 4G LTE and 4G LTE Advanced. And the speeds are incredibly quick and fast. Uh, I am here in the rural area of Chiang Mai where you would not expect 4G LTE or 4G LTE Advanced to work, but I get perfect signals. And I feel like the US carriers, they really try to milk the US consumers. The way US carriers work uh, is very very evil even pretty much everywhere in thailand you can get a uh, fiber one gigabits per second uh, internet speeds uh, for your home internet whereas in daily city next to san francisco where i live we still do not have gigabit internet my theory is that the u.s mega corporations like at&t t-mobile sprint verizon comcast whatever they're already making a ton of money off of the old technology so why even bother us as consumers are pretty much a cash cows for them. So the longer they can sell you old technology, uh, old outdated technology, the more money they make, the longer they can hold that off, they can make more money. All right, that's my theory. Um, that's the trend I see. And it's amazing, like a country like Thailand already has 4G LTE advanced. So they pretty much get 4G LTE for a few years. But when they upgraded, they went straight to 4G LTE Advanced. I mean, a lot of other countries like South Korea had LTE Advanced for a few years now. And I was just dumbfounded. I know T-Mobile has LTE Advanced in certain areas. It's like one in a million uh, in the SF Bay Area where I live. Um, like sometimes I'll get it for like a few seconds. Like here you just get it everywhere. But I wanted to share uh, what I learned while traveling outside the US that people in other parts of the world where the GDP may not be as high as US are enjoying way faster internet uh, than US consumers. Anyway, enough talking, let's go take a look. All right guys, in my last few days in Thailand, I'm usually on 4G+. Plus. All right, 4G+, plus is pretty much a 4G advance. Now it sort of switches back between 4G LTE and 4G+, plus, uh, but usually I'm on 4G LTE or 4G+. Plus. Now rarely I do drop down to uh, HSPA+, plus. I've never dropped down to Edge. Um, th on this trip. All right, so I went back to 4G+. Plus. Let's go ahead and check out how fast this is. So let's go ahead and do a quick speed test. All right, it's sort of switching between back and forth. So let's see if I can catch it right at 4G+. Plus. All right, let's do it right now and check this out. All right, speeds are pretty decent, 60. Um, I think 4G+, Plus can go really, really fast, but uh, at 67 megabits per second download, pretty good also uploads speeds are pretty good now 4g lt advanced doesn't necessarily mean it's faster download and upload speeds uh, the way this technology works it is able to mix uh, these different type of bands let's say 900 850 uh, 1800 and 2100 megahertz and use them at the same time so in a sense it's more efficient so what i've noticed with my phone here in thailand is that everything loads much much faster than on 4g lte everything is optimized so it's not just about your download and upload speed but it's also how efficiently your network uh, prioritizes um, your apps you know your videos your media so everything streams faster even with the same speeds that's one thing i've noticed everything just loads really fast uh, we'll go ahead and try this let me go ahead and load up a, like a us site all right and this is from thailand the ping speeds are a lot slower but it will load up pretty darn fast uh, let's go to fandroid real quick i mean it's hard to show you how fast uh, 4g lt advance is but if you actually use your phone, I mean, you can really feel the difference. And also, if you do visit Thailand, um, the only network that currently supports 4G Plus uh, is True Move. Um, I highly recommend this. This is the 4G Plus plan, a uh, prepay plan. If you pay a uh, 400 baht, which is about 12 bucks, you can get four gigs of 4G LTE and uh, 4G LTE Advanced. 
uh, speeds. So really good deal, really fast speeds. Uh, I think they just rolled this out. Um, so the speeds are really fast. Um, not congested at all. And yeah, I'm damn impressed by the price, the speeds, um, compared to what we pay in the US. I mean, 12 bucks for four gigs of 4G Advance. So something to think about, and I'm definitely gonna enjoy my 4G LTE Advance here in Thailand. And I'll give you another update uh, when I get back to the US. But for right now, um, this is pretty amazing, I think. That is fast. All right, another thing to note is that 4G LTE Advance is a lot more efficient, so you get very consistent um, high-speed downloads instead of with 4G LTE. If the network gets congested, um, sometimes you'll notice that your network slows down like on Verizon in the US. Sometimes I drop down to like only one or two megabits per second. I mean, sometimes I get 40 or 50, but above 50 megabytes, uh, per second for download. That is, I think, pretty good. And thanks guys for watching this video. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I hope we get LT Advance uh, in the next few years. It's, it'll probably take us another two or three years to get full 4G LT Advance everywhere in the US, while people in Thailand or South Korea are already enjoying uh, LT Advance like everywhere. Have a great day. I'll have a vlog of some Thai noodles coming soon. Check that out. And as always, stay on Android. Hi, click here to subscribe. Click here to subscribe.